Hi everyone, I'm Ashwarya and uh, I am a blind artist who does 3D tactile paintings and um, uh, ever since I've been doing these paintings many have been asking why don't you do a video that will uh, you know entail everything that you do how you do this uh, 3D tactile paintings uh, just a brief of my background I was sighted till a uh, later stage of my life and I lost my eyesight I used to do pencil sketching back then uh, I had to give it up obviously uh, but then uh, in 2018 I went to an art gallery and I saw that none of the paintings there were accessible I couldn't enjoy it and any canvas uh, painting that I touched uh, they appeared to be like a white canvas and that is when I thought you know why not we make uh, paintings accessible and with that thought I started doing 3d paintings and I'll just uh, show you some of the 3d paintings that I do here so I have I have here uh, an image, a uh, uh, 3D uh, emoji. It is the devil face emoji. It's a round circular canvas and this is what uh, I'm describing it for uh, the visually impaired viewers here. So it is a round shaped canvas and there's a uh, yellow color smiley face and the smiley face has two horns and a wicked smile with two uh, canine teeth poking out. So this is the uh, so everything in this painting can be touched and then I'm go going on to the second uh, emoji here. So this is the kissy face emoji. It also has a uh, round canvas and by the way the canvas the background is painted blue and the face is painted yellow the eyes and lips are in red color and the eyes are shaped like heart and the lips are like pouting as if it's about to kiss somebody so this is the kissy face emoji I have done and there is a one more painting uh, it's a smaller painting that's why I'm showing it here uh, let me just put it properly yeah so this painting is called vacation uh, so the on the bottom there's grass you can actually feel the grass and just above the grass there's uh, you know a regular shoreline and there's water uh, from left to right and on either sides of the uh, grass there are palm trees uh, two on the uh, I think it's uh, you know it would be if you're seeing it, it would be towards the left and one on the right there are palm trees so you can actually touch these palm trees and then on the water there's a yacht a sailing boat um, then just above the sailing boat there's the horizon the other horizon with the far end and they have small small houses like you know silhouette of houses like I've colored them black so that they looks like you know behind there's sunlight and then you know they're looking like as if they're in the shadow and in the sky there's the Sun uh, it's circular in shape and next to the sun there are two birds flying in the sky so I've named this painting as vacation so these are uh, the 3d paintings that I have been doing and how I do it is like I have explored many house uh, home supplies and then I came across the best material that worked out for me I tried clay but there are limitations with clay because one is it is too expensive and you know once you mold it after half an hour you cannot reshape it and you cannot glue it onto the canvas because it can become heavy so these are the limitations with clay and that is when I came across aluminium foil imagine aluminium foil you can shape it into anything that you want so right now I have here in front of me I'm showing it at the camera uh, aluminium foil butterfly so it has wings the body uh, the head and those two wicks sort of a thing you know whatever you call it I don't know what they say uh, what do they call it but yeah this is the butterfly fly and I crush the aluminium foil like I tear the aluminium foil crush it because when you crush it it becomes hard and then shape them into wings shape them into body and the head and those two toy toy things I don't know what you say that so after this the next procedure what I do is I layer them with uh, the aluminium uh, shape with paper so it's just the regular paper white paper that you get I use fevicol and then I just dab my finger into water uh, and then apply it to the fevicol so that the paper catches the exact shape of the aluminium foil so this is how uh, you know uh, the second stage of the butterfly fly looks with the paper now coming to the third stage uh, 
uh like this is the third stage and i I'm, i'm not sure if uh, you can see it on the camera but th- i have actually glued masking tape here so masking tape is uh you know a technique like if you don't want to paint in a particular area you cover that area with masking tape and you can paint the area which is visible to you so right now what i have done is i have made the body of the butterfly visible to me so that i know where exactly to paint so you know i i won't be painting on the wings so i've covered the wings slightly with the masking tape so with in this position i can actually paint the body uh correctly so once i finish painting the body then i would go to the wings so i would cover the body then after the paint is dried i would cover the body and then i would uh actually paint the wings so once this whole thing is painted so this is how the final product looks so uh, i have uh, uh, the the main body i've colored it black uh, the wings i have colored it maroon and yellow and i gave some shapes also like some dots so i've taken a stylus and i've put dots on that yellow dots and then a bigger dot like uh, i've taken a lid of a small uh, pen and i've outlined the inner side of the Uh, the lid with white and i just dabbed the paint onto the wings so this is how the butterfly looks so this is how i paint and also coming to the canvas okay so this is an empty canvas i'm showing here and i don't think you'll be able to see the uh, masking tape here but let's say um, this must be like 10 into 5 inches canvas i think i'm not sure uh, so i'm i put it in a portrait style and the top if i want to paint it like the sky so what i've done is the bottom portion 1/4 or uh, say 1/3 uh, of the canvas i want to paint paint it grass so i have put the masking tape here down below and on the top i i'm going to paint the sky so when i paint the color even though the paint uh, is applied onto the masking tape it does not get applied at the on the grass area so once and when i paint what i do is i do two coats just so that i don't leave any gaps in between so that comes with experience like you know there's nothing like oh i did it wrong it's okay even if you do it wrong but uh, definitely you know you'll enjoy painting like this and once the sky area is dry what i do is before removing doing this masking tape on the grass i put a masking tape on the sky area so that this masking tape outline the edge will give me a reference to cover this area the sky area with the masking tape and then i remove the masking tape from the grass area and i cover it i uh, color it green again i would do two coats now people may ask me as a blind person how do you i cannot see colors at all so they may ask me how do you identify colors so i am pointing out an acrylic paint uh, tube towards the camera so earlier what i was doing is i used to make shapes of uh, 3d aluminum foil and i i have separated the colors into different boxes so the red would go into one box and then i would make uh, a shape of an apple using the aluminum foil and glue it to it so when i touched it i know okay this is apple so it must be red likewise if it's a mango it must be yellow or uh, green or uh, grapes it must be light green a tree it must be dark green so these are the cues i used to get but later on when i started using more shades of colors like you know there may be different shades of red so when i started using different shades of red that is when i had a problem i mean how do i remember what is light red and what is dark red or what is you know uh, a cadmium red these are the issues i had so that's when i came across this app called uh, space spell so these are this uh, i'm pointing out again these are this qr label solution so i glued it up to this uh, acrylic paint and then i have this app i'll just demonstrate so once i uh scan this i have recorded uh, these labels and kept uh, according to my customization so when i um, you know uh, scan it this is what it plays this is orange color you can use this for any color the fruit orange or sunset or sunrise 
so if you see i have customized it saying that this particular thing is orange color and this will be used for but this particular thing so i can you know if it's a lighter orange i can say you know this is what you can use it for so that is how i identify my colors and once my 3d shapes are made you know i have painted my canvas i have painted my 3d shapes what i do is i finally take the canvas and then first i put these 3d shapes onto the canvas not gluing them but then i put to see uh, you know if if it is fitting right or you know uh, the proportions and all that then once i'm happy with that then i use a white glue uh, in india it's called fevicol i use the white glue to glue it onto the canvas but there are some surfaces um, you know which would need uh, uh, you know a stronger adhesive like super glue if the back of the you know like i'm just showing it to you now the butterfly i have the butterfly in my hand so the back is like kind of flat the wings you know they're flat but sometimes uh, there may be some 3d shapes that may have some complicated curves and all that so for that you would require super glue like a uh, fevi quick and something like that to glue onto it i am kind of careful while using that now i got used to um, you know uh, applying super glue uh, to these 3d shapes but earlier <laughs> i had to you know uh, i i accidentally i had applied it on my hands and it got glued and all that but never mind painting is painting you enjoy that no matter what so the this is about 3d paintings and i've done uh, totally like uh, 23 3d paintings so far i'm working on my 24th one and i've done like around uh, 10 more than 10 emojis and i'm also working on uh, 3d models like for education purpose so right now i've worked on uh, the pyramid uh, the human heart and of course uh, titanic ship uh, it's a uh, titanic ship is still in the making i need to work on it still so this is how i do my 3d paintings and if you guys have any queries and you can reach out to me my email is ashwarya a i s h w a r y a 3711 at gmail.com if you'd like to know more about my work my facebook page is called uh, artworks beyond sight i keep posting all my paintings there and i also post some techniques there if you're interested you can have a look at it and uh, i'm 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 i am i hope that this uh, you know uh, session about 3d paintings will motivate you to take up art as a hobby because i believe that you know art should not be sidelined sidelined it is an expression of your soul it should come out um, you know for visually impaired it's not just education and employment uh, it leisure is also as much important and i believe in making art accessible for everyone thank you so much